Part of the mandate of my office is to demystify science for you guys, the public, and of course for our students as well. And that often involves cruising the uh, web in order to find out what is out there to be demystified. So one morning I'm cruising and I come upon this. Is your shampoo giving you Alzheimer's disease? Well, that starts you thinking about uh, what you're doing to your body by exposing it to shampoos. Well, it turned out that to find out, I had to actually listen to a tiresome, rambling presentation. And I invested about 30 minutes in that listening. And you know what? They never addressed this particular topic. What they talked about was various ways of treating and curing Alzheimer's disease that are being hidden from the public, that some uh, inventive doctors have discovered. And these maverick scientists are now bringing it to our attention with something called the ICT protocol, which turns out to be some kind of nutritional supplement. Well, of course, Alzheimer's disease is a devastating disease, and every aspect of it has been explored, including possible nutritional treatments. We do know that there's a chemical in the brain called phosphatidylcholine, which is involved in making connections between nerve cells. And when those connections don't function properly, that's one of the signs of Alzheimer's disease. So the nutritional approach has been to try to give the body the nutrients that are needed to make phosphatidylcholine. These are B vitamins, choline, all kinds of other nutrients. Unfortunately, none of this has really turned out to produce anything beneficial. There's nothing out there in terms of nutrition that has been shown to either retard or certainly not to cure Alzheimer's disease. All right, so we put that aside, but what about this shampoo connection? They never referred to it, so I had to go digging some more because I figured somewhere they must have gotten something to forge this headline. And of course, they only use the headline to suck you into listening to this, this rambling nonsense about nutritional cure of Alzheimer's disease. Well, it turns out that there is some shampoo connection, and it's all about this rather colorful molecule. And this is methylchloroisothiazolinone. It's a preservative, and it's a preservative that is used in many shampoos. Well, it turns out that there was one study a few years ago where they took extracted nerve cells from rat brains in a Petri dish exposed them to this chemical and found that they didn't grow properly. Well, of course, our brain is a long way from the rat brain, especially from nerve cells that are extracted from a rat brain, so it really doesn't mean anything at all. This is just a, a, a bogus relationship. On the other hand, there is one little warning about this particular chemical that is legitimate. It is a preservative. It is found in many, many cosmetics and it can cause skin irritation and a skin rash in a very, very small subset of the population. If someone discovers that, of course, stay away from any product that contains it. But this really applies only to cosmetics that you leave on the skin, not to ones like shampoo that you rinse off. So there is nothing to the Alzheimer shampoo connection. Unfortunately, there is really nothing to the nutritional prevention of Alzheimer's disease, and certainly not to its cure. And you have to be very careful when you cruise the internet because there is just a great deal of quackery to be found.